Hey, welcome back to One Liter ADV. My name is Yev. We're gonna be doing an oil change on my 2018 Suzuki V-Strom 1000. Now, if you're like me, you probably have some sort of a skid plate under here. I have the Happy Trails. It's held on by a bolt and a nut. The nut's like a half inch wrench, and then the bolt has a five millimeter Allen key. Otherwise, if you're using the OEM Suzuki Crash Guard, the plastic one, it takes a four millimeter Allen wrench to get all the bolts off. Hey, so under here is a bolt right under the engine. It takes a 17 millimeter socket to get it out. Also, Suzuki does recommend to warm the bike up for about five minutes before doing your oil change. That way the oil has a little more viscosity and you know, drain out better. The crush washer will need to be removed off the plug and replaced with a new one. Normally, if you do this right the previous time, the oil filter should come off by hand just like it does in your car. Um, if not, there are tools out there that can help you. I remember the first time I did the oil change on this bike and I wasn't the first owner. The previous uh, individual had placed the oil filter really tightly and I actually had to get one of these guys to basically grab the oil filter and unscrew it. Totally ruins the oil filter canister, but I mean, you're gonna be throwing it away anyway. As with most oil filters, there's a rubber seal on the canister. Make sure it comes off with the canister because you're gonna be putting a new one on with your new oil filter. Honestly, at this point, you can probably take a break because it does take a few minutes for the oil to completely drain out and you don't wanna rush this process. So just like I do with my cars and everything, I just leave the garage and do something else while, you know, you still have a tiny stream of oil coming out. Now I'm gonna put the oil plug back in with a new crush washer. I made sure that the threads are clean and there's no debris anywhere on the bolt. The plug washer gets torqued down to 17 pound feet of torque. And if you don't have a torque wrench, just use your best judgment here. I'm going to be using a Fram filter this time because the dealerships didn't have the Suzuki OEM ones. And for the Fram, the part number is PH6018. Um, if you do use a Suzuki filter, the part number is 16510-07J00. Make sure you oil the rubber gasket just a little bit. As far as tightening the oil filters, um, I don't think there's an exact science to it. Uh, if you just follow the instructions on a filter, you'll be fine. Um, for me, I, I've done enough oil changes to where I know that I kind of know where I like it, but uh, the worst thing you can do is either over tighten it or not tighten it enough. And uh, I know that can be kind of worrisome for some people. So um, the best thing you can do is tighten it and then check when you ride. If it's oil coming out of it, then obviously you know you didn't tighten it enough. If when you change your oil the next time and you can't get it off, well, now you know you've over tightened it. So that's about as simple as it gets there or complicated. The V-Strom 1000s all the way from 2014 to 2019 used the same oil capacity. They have basically the same hardware. So everything I've said in this video so far applies to anything between 2014 and 2019. So when it comes to oil itself, it's a pretty big debate online. I, for instance, use Motul oil, which is a French company. I like it, it works for me. Honestly, I think you can't go wrong with any oil. Just make sure you use the right kind, the right grade, make sure it's for your motorcycle. Um, one tip I have about this particular oil though is that I uh, don't buy from Revzilla. No offense to them, but they just charge way too much for the stuff. If you, get, if you can't get a price match, otherwise just get it somewhere else online, it's cheaper. Um, on your bike, it'll tell you how much oil you need. It says 2,700 milliliters. That is how much oil you need if you do not change the oil filter. If you change the oil filter like I just did, you're gonna want 3,100 milliliters of oil. That is basically, there's 4,000 milliliters in here, which is four liters. You're gonna need 900 less of that. Speaking of oil brands, let us know down in the comments what you think about your preferred oil. Like I said, I use the Motul oil, but I think there's a lot of great stuff out there and we would definitely like to know what you use and your experience specifically with that oil. So now at this point, um, as you can see, the eyelet is full, although I still have a little bit too much oil left in my canister. That is because the oil filter has not filled up with oil. To do that, you wanna start your bike, of course, with everything closed and uh, you know safe. Start your bike, let the engine kind of throw the oil around, it'll get into your filter, and then let it settle down and look at your level at that point because it might go down a little bit. And at that point, feel free to add just a little bit of oil to top it off. Well, that about wraps it up for the oil change on the V-Strom. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to subscribe and like the video. If you have any questions or requests for maintenance videos, you can leave those down in the comments below. And we'll see you all in the next video.